Hello people, I'm the Rock Rock Gamer, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new 1UP box. Uh, I believe this theme, this month's theme is Squad, because Suicide Squad, so let's see what's inside, and ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this box a lot already, a lot better than the other two. We got, first thing, we got an Arkham Knight Funko Pop. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. I've got a bunch of Funkos back there. So last time I added, uh, who did I, I, it was Booker DeWitt, I think, the last time that I got. But yeah, I've gotten some pretty good Funkos out of this now, yes. Let's open them up, because I don't, I'm not one of those people that keep them in the boxes. I like, take them off and look there. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Got Arkham Knight Focus. There we go. There is the Arkham Knight. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's put, I don't have a whole lot of room for him right now, so I'll just put him right there. Alright, uh, let's see what's next. We got t shirt. Let's see. Joker. Oh, uh, okay. That, that's kind of cool. I like that. It's, uh, it's the Mar it's, Mario guys in uh in Suicide Squad theme. First I was like, why is there Joker Mario? And then I looked at the rest, I'm like, oh they're all that. I like Luigi Deadshot's my favorite, to to be honest. Luigi Deadshot well, looks pretty badass right there. Look at that Luigi Deadshot. He looks pretty cool. I like I like Luigi Deadshot. Now, let's see. Let's see, we got a Deadshot something. I don't know what it is. Huh. What the, what the heck is this thing? I can't even open it. Okay, I don't. I don't. We'll, we'll look at the bar. The, at the what it says is in here to see what that is. It's got a dog tag. It's got the Ghostbusters on it. No, who is that? I don't. I don't know who it's got on it. But it's a dog tag with someone on it. I don't know who it is. And then we got our our pin. This month's one up box. Let's see. Let's see, what does it was it say? Ooh, what's that? Is that poster thing? Oh, we got we got Groot and Rocket Raccoon. A little printout for those two. So let's see. Let's see. One of four Batman Arkham series Funko uh, figures. So you can get Joker, Harley, Arkham Knight, like I got, or Scarecrow. And then you got oh, it's an air freshener. And then you got Deadshot air freshener. I'm gonna put that in my car. A paranormal dog tag. Where's dog tag? Everywhere you go and drive away any haunted spirits running. So I guess I was right, there is, because I thought I saw a Ghostbuster on there. Well, I don't know, it just says paranormal dog tag, whatever. Um, before, yeah, Space Guardians poster, and then you've got the t-shirt. So, uh, I'm really happy with this box, mainly because the Arkham Knight Funko, that's what I'm really happy about. This guy right here, he, lo he looks pretty cool. The Arkham Knight design, well I didn't care for the character of Arkham Knight, thought he was way worse than Red Hood, the character design is really cool looking, so. Having a Funko for him is really cool. My Funko, I've gotten like a Funko with each box. It's like, it's, my, my collection of Funkos have just grown a lot ever since I got this box. Definitely gonna be putting the uh, Deadshot uh, air freshener in my car. Now, if you want one of these boxes for yourself, I've got my referral link in the description if you want to. That uh, helps me. This is, I think, it's like nine bucks, nine or ten bucks with like if you use the code awesome out at checkout. So if you want a one up box for yourself, you can go hit the link in the description. It's with the referral link. And yeah, uh, that's it for the unboxing portion of this video. Generally next I would I would uh, just read comments, but this week I was having a hard time finding some comments, so I decided I'm just gonna talk about what happened at Comic Con so far instead of making a separate video about it. I just want to talk about some stuff that's happened at Comic Con, my thoughts on them. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's talk about the Netflix stuff first because we got a trailer for Luke Cage, which was really well done and it was very uh, I, I love the music and it. it was Luke Cage basically just puts on a hoodie, he goes and he takes out a bunch of guys in the hallway. You know, nothing we haven't seen before from a Netflix show, but it was really cool and they did it very well and it was just a good teaser well like a little trailer for it didn't give too much away it's just basically one fight scene from the show and it looks interesting one thing is we saw that when Luke Cage uh, fought Jessica Jones he fought like a complete idiot in this he was like fighting like a master not just using his powers but I mean the way he's fighting is fighting smart and I I hate when shows do that because they do that with like Superman all the time the animated shows and with Wolverine and stuff to where they dumb them down when they fight other heroes like Luke Cage was kicking the crap out of these guys and I mean not being an idiot and doing it and just winning because he had power but he was actually fighting smart but when he fought Jessica Jones he took like the widest swings possible and he just looked so stupid fighting her and that fight scene was just 
awful in a Jessica Jones show. So yeah, I just I hate it when shows do that. They like dumb them down to fight someone else. But when they're, they're fighting their own villains, it's like, hey, I'll look how good they are. But when they go fight another hero, I'll look how stupid they are. Just, not a fan when shows do that, but either way, Luke Cage looks really good. We got an Iron Fist teaser, which got me so excited. It was the perfect teaser to me. Netflix could not have done it any better. It teased the show just enough. It really sucks that 2017 feels like it's so far away because this show, I need it now. I can't wait to see how the Iron Fist suit looks. I hope they do a good job with it all, oh, especially because it's, it's a fairly simple suit. It's nothing like real hard, so they should be able to do a pretty good job with it and just show it. It looks so good. I love Iron Fist. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters and so for him to finally get his own show is awesome and I can't wait and just man this this got me the most hyped out of anything that I've seen at Comic-Con so far was this Iron Fist teaser trailer because just no one ever thought we would get a live action Iron Fist because he's such an underrated character and now that we're finally getting him in his own TV show on Netflix super excited because Netflix has done so great with Daredevil so far so I'm really really excited to see what happens with Iron Fist it just uh, they teased everything I want and I can't wait to see what happens. Then we got a Defenders teaser, which wasn't much. It wasn't like, oh, we got to see them fighting together or anything. No, it was just like, it was just some newspaper clippings and stuff to spell the word defend and that was it. And it's like, ooh, look at all this. And then uh, it said, and then uh, we heard Stick talking in the background. He was just saying, you know, you guys can't even save yourselves. How are you going to save the city and stuff like that? So Stick is going to meet the Defenders. I'm excited about that. I love Stick. He's great in Daredevil. So uh, yeah, Defenders looks... I can't really say anything about it besides the fact that Netflix generally does a good job with their shows and Daredevil is amazing so I'm excited for Defenders but the teaser didn't really reveal much. We also got a little sizzle reel which was pretty cool that they put together at the end. We have Punisher and I can't wait because I totally forgot about the fact that we're getting a Punisher so show so that's got me just really hyped. A Punisher show, man it's gonna be awesome. Now a little off comic book topic related is Narco Season 2 got a trailer and Narco Season 1 was like my favorite show of last year so Narco season two looks to be just amazing i cannot wait that trailer was fantastic and not gonna talk a whole lot about narcos season two because yeah just not comic book really but still if you guys are into narcos they did release a trailer for season two and it's fantastic and then we saw i think i only got really one non uh netflix related thing to talk about today and that's the fact that we got a wonder woman tr uh, poster revealed for the movie it looks okay, it's not like it looks bad or it looks good to me, it does look a little bit like they took a Victoria's Secret model and just did that for the poster, that's my only problem with it, it doesn't scream Wonder Woman to me, it looks kind of like a generic Victoria's Secret like model sort of poster thing, except with like a Wonder Woman costume on, that's, that's the impression I got, I'm like, I don't see, that doesn't really scream Wonder Woman to me, but still, it's just a poster, who really cares, like Marvel does terrible with their posters every time, but no one cares because it's we care about the movie so it's just a poster wonder woman the footage that we've gotten revealed so far looks great so i'm excited for the movie i can't wait and uh yeah so uh christopher priest who's the guy who's writing deathstroke he had an interview and he said a lot of stuff about deathstroke his thoughts on what he's going to be doing with the series i will do a separate video on that probably tomorrow because i do want to talk about that but a whole separate video and also killing joke comes out monday in theater so i'm going to be reviewing that look for, uh for that to be up like monday night probably at least that's the goal because i don't work monday so i'm going to be going seeing killing joke getting out of theater and then trying to review it and get it up as soon as i can for you guys so yeah um uh, stay tuned for that and again if you want your own one up box link in the description for that and i hope you guys enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments below what do you think of all this comic con news that we got so far again this was just after like first day of comic-con so there's still a whole lot of stuff happening also by the time this video is up more stuff might have been revealed from comic-con that i don't know yet just know that that i am recording this friday morning so some stuff probably has happened that you guys are like why didn't you talk about that this is friday morning so i haven't seen everything yet but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one